But because of people either getting uh, side effects from using it orally or being worried about getting uh, side effects from using it orally, the theory was if we use topical finasteride, we could avoid the side effects but get the effect. So this has been, um, uh, there's been a bit of research being done on this in the last few years. And the dosing uh, percentages uh, for uh, finasteride topically applied typically are around about 0.1 of a percent, but in some cases 0.25 of a percent. So the idea is to use a low dose, um, uh, again, on a daily basis, topically to the thinning area. There's no point bringing it on a bald area, that's not going to work. Uh, put it on a thinning area and see if you can get the effect without the side effect. There's a bit of dispute at the moment about whether it really does abolish the side effects because it appears that there are some patients who are even susceptible so the, with low dose topical finasteride to get um, uh, the side effects. So I think that if my, my, my general feeling is I would prefer patients to be on it than not. If they won't contemplate doing it orally, I'm, uh, I'm happy to pr prescribe it um, in a topical formulation, but I don't promise them that there's no risk of side effects. We, we're still going to find out whether that's going to be something that's going to work for them.